Welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to continue the theme in our class where we investigate online multimedia editors um, in comparison to the desktop multimedia editors that we're used to. In this instance, we're going to take a look at online video editing. Uh, we've taken a look at Live Movie Maker, and we've also taken a look at iMovie. So let's take a look at an online video editor. Uh, recently, um, probably the best one that was available called J-Cut was acquired by RIM, uh, you know, the folks behind BlackBerry. Um, so they have, I think, plans to port that out into the mobile world. Um, I found this one called Pixorial, and it's, uh, it, it, it seems like a pretty good product. Let's click on Pixorial.com. So if it's your first time here, um, go ahead and sign up. If um, you know you're returning, go ahead and log in. Now the deal with Pixorial at this point is is that um, you can, when you create an account, get two free weeks of using their um, video producer which is their online video editor. You also get a two gigabyte cap um, on the uh, size of videos that you can upload. I think the pricing structure is something like a couple of dollars a month gets you 10 gigabytes worth of space. So if you're interested in getting more space or utilizing Pixorial as a, as a solution you might want to um, consider the for pay version. By default, we are taken to the Pixorial library, and that is where your um, assets are saved. Now, to add a video, um, to, to utilize the service, um, you do need to have your film clips digitized previously. So, flip camera, hard drive camera, uh, shooting from your mobile device, which I think is really the, the market share that they're interested in. Um, in uh, you know, a previously existing MPEG-4, MOV, etc. Um, and, and, and if you've shot to tape, then you need to take it into some other, uh, some other application and then um, capture that, export it back out into a, a, a digital format so that it can be uploaded to Pixorial. So that sort of is the one caveat. You can't plug in a camera to the service and capture your footage directly like you can with um, Live Movie Maker, iMovie, or Premiere the other editors we've looked at. Once you do have your files in a digital format you can just click the add video icon and you have the option to upload. Um, record is to record from your webcam. I did try a test plugging in my video camera to the um, into the webcam uploader but it just didn't come out with very good quality. Um, they also have a service that they will digitize your videos for you. So if you're sitting on a backlog or a big box full of old videotapes, um, you know you, you can take a look at their service. But we're interested in uploading video at this point. So I'll click Upload. And I get this drop down up here at the top. So I can go ahead and choose a file. And I'm going to choose this um, QuickTime movie that I have. Um, this is a couple megabytes large. If I click choose, it will start uploading. I get my upload progress bar. Once your video is finished uploading, you get a thumbnail here in the main workspace. And note that it says um, that your video is processing. It takes some time to process depending on how long your video is, uh, that time will vary. You also get a button up here in the upload drop down that says upload another video. Um, if you have another one in your queue you can go ahead and click that and start the next video uploading and uh, through doing that you can bring in a series of clips into your library. Once your clips are all processed, um, you can now begin to do something with them. Note that while you're in the library space, you can click on an individual clip, and when you do that over here in the right, you have the capability to do some editing. Um, you could trim it, uh, add some music in, in this area. 
um, although we're not going to do that we're going to do all of our editing um, within the producer uh, which is the video editor portion of Pixorial um, you can also download your file now this is important because when uh, we're done with our final video um, it will show up here um, in our library and so you can access any of your videos um, you can download them by clicking here um, this is also where you can delete a video and if you're working uh, within the free version which only has a two gigabyte limit you might need to delete clips that aren't in use notice um, down here you can at the bottom of the page you can see how much of a uh, uh, video you're actually storing now um, one note I have had some problems uploading larger files by large I mean uh, say 250 megabytes um, sometimes I've had them go through it might take up to two or three hours to upload other times I just uh, get maybe halfway through the um, the upload process and it kind of fizzles out so I think Pixorial is a good tool but I think it's made more for using um, short clips with so keep that in mind you might have a similar experience as I do um, you also have the capability to share um, here we have you know adding to Facebook adding to Twitter etc you can add info the name of your clip and uh, tags now that we have our video um, in our library let's open producer and basically uh, we'll create a new project so I'm gonna click producer and create new now we have an untitled project here um, this is going to be our, our uh, preview area where the video will play we have um, our play button this will turn into a stop button when we're playing we can nudge backwards and forwards to move through the video here we have a music track a single music track and then a storyboard area this is where we can add video we can add pictures etc so if I click on this uh, add video icon here um, then I have the opportunity to add a video add a photo um, titles transitions etc let's start by adding video um, so I'll click video and then it shows me my library and what I can do is grab say my first clip and I can just add that. I also have the opportunity to add all uh, but I'm gonna add them singly that way I can put them in the order I want. I'm gonna click add and when I'm done I can click done. Uh, maybe I'll add this uh, second shot here did it add it? No it did not. So I will click the plus sign and go to the video there I go and I'll add this one now it went and I'll click done so now I have my two clips once I add them it does a little rendering so it takes a little time to process once again these are just sent 10 second clips so it doesn't take very long but uh, it might take a little processing time for you it's a good idea since you're out there on the web um, go ahead and save your project just like you would if you were working in the desktop that way if something happens to your connection um, you don't lose your work so we'll give this uh, a title and I'll click save so uh, as I make changes the save button will make itself apparent once uh, or uh, purple when um, I need to save right now since it's grayed out it means everything's all saved so now if we take a look um, I have my timeline here the playhead is green so this is the start of my track number one down here I can click play very early in the morning the rooster sends out his call and the chickens begin to wait here now notice what happened um, right here designates the separation between my two clips um, I get this little split s signifying that there this is clip one this is clip two as it starts to play the clip that I'm in that clip turns yellow the other clip um, you know is sort of grayed out so I can start to track uh, where my timeline uh, the playhead is where the clips lie I'm gonna go ahead and add the remainder of my clips I'm gonna click my plus add video um, I'm gonna add this hens this is what I shot from my video camera so I'll click add next I'm going to choose this clip number three and I will click add and there I go now I have my four clips I'm gonna click save 
and it's basically that easy to add video to the timeline. The next step that we're going to do um, as this finishes up processing is to add an image uh, right here to our storyboard. So I'm going to click the plus button and what that's going to do is enable to put me, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be able to put an element right after this last clip. So I'll click plus and this time I'm going to add a photo. I don't have any photos so click upload to get started. So here we go. I'll click upload and I will browse and here's a JPEG called eggs and I'll open that up. Once my image is done processing then now you can see that it drops it right there on the timeline for me. Now what I have happening is, if I take a look, um, this is set up to be a widescreen. Um, Pixorial has a, a widescreen project um, and so since I'm working with 4 by 3 aspect ratio, I shot video 720 by 480, um, I'm getting this letterboxing on each side, which is fine, um, but it's something to know that Pixorial works in uh, widescreen format 16 by 9. So now I have, um, if I look here on my timeline, I have 1, 2, 3, 4 clips, as well as an egg, and that I can scrub my playhead. I can click my spacebar to make it play. I can use this interface right here. I get my time code and the full length of my um, of my piece. Now these nudge buttons, this will push my playhead back a single frame. So if I want to do some fine editing, I can do that there. Note that I can double click on a clip or an image and when I do that it enables me to trim either the front by dragging or the end by dragging so um, why don't I go ahead and do that I've got this delete reset options um, when I'm feeling pretty happy with what I've done I can click done it'll process and now I've trimmed out both the starting point and the ending point of my clip. So we don't have the same capability where we can put a playhead right in the, in the center and, uh, and do a split um, like we've seen with some of our other editors uh, but we do have the capability to trim both the front and the end uh, of the clip so you, you can get the clip where you'd like it to be. Now's a good time to click save. Now I have all of my uh, my four video clips, they're all processed and on the timeline. Um, we've showed you that you can double click on a clip so that you can trim the video. Uh, we've added a still image by clicking the plus and uploading a photo. Note that um, in the same way I can double click and, on the photo and I can change the duration. Um, I can do a little zoom in on the photo, a little zoom out. I can control that by a percentage. So once you've made your uh, adjustments there, you can click Done. I think the next thing to add are some transitions. So uh, we have one clip, two clips. Right in between the clips, we have the capability to click a, pl a plus button. When I click that, um, I can add another video clip, I can add another photo, but I can also add a transition. So let's do that. Um, I don't have that many options. A fade, um, just a crossfade, flash, dissolve, um, and you know I can move forward and backwards. But why don't I look? Why don't I do a um, uh, fade between the two? And now, note that when I select the fade, I get three seconds on the timeline that is set up um, as the duration of 
the crossfade between this clip and this clip. If I want to edit the length of the fade, I can double click on that. I can edit the duration and I can also change the type of transition that I have set. So let's take a look. I will click the playhead sort of midway through this rooster clip and I will click play. And the chickens begin to wake. Here comes Farmer Brown. And there was the fade, kind of fade down um, from one to the other. Now I will uh, press the plus button between the other clips and also add some transitions. This time I'll do a dissolve. And we can take a look at that. Now the difference is, is the fade kind of comes in from um, uh, it moves down to black and then back up. The dissolve moves from the first image to the second image. So depending on what you want, um, you can take it all the way to black and then back up. You can dissolve between the two clips. I'm going to add some more dissolves. Note that you can add transitions between a video clip into just a still image. And I'll do the same thing. Now um, it's nice to do a dissolve uh, or excuse me, a fade at the beginning um, or uh, a fade at the end, um, you know, starting in black and fading in, uh, fading out of the video and then into black. So that's how you add transitions using these plus icons and basically that's how you add all media within Pixorial. I'll click Save. Next we'll take a look at adding credits. Now I can do overlay text, overlay credits, or I can click the plus button here and I can add a title or a credit. So I'm going to click uh, a credit here um, and what that's going to do is enable me to, excuse me, I'm going to click and add a title at the beginning and because I clicked on the plus button before the clip this title is going to be separate. So I can add um, my text just by typing. I have the capability to change fonts, size, style, etc. The text color and background color. And also the important piece, you can change the duration um, depending on um, you know how long you want your credit to show up at the beginning. The default is three seconds. Once you're done, click done. And now the very beginning of my piece starts with this credit. Three seconds. And it jumps right into my clip. Great, so now that I've added my intro title, which is self-standing over black, let's take a look at doing an overlay. I can click right uh, on this clip and now when I click overlay text it will let me add text right over the top. And once again I can uh, do text color etc. And once I'm done, I will click Done. Now note, when I do an overlay, I get this um, chunk right here where I can um, see that over this part of the clip for the first few seconds, um, I have this text overlaid. So if I put the playhead there and let it play out, notice that the, the text overlays. I can double click here and that's how I get to um, that's how I get back to edit that particular overlay credit or excuse me overlay text so overlay credits overlay text these options up here to the right of the viewer click on a an, um, 
an individual clip or image and you can add the text right over the top. You can move it around, you can change the text and the font, etc. Um, if you use the plus arrows um, in between clips to add a title or a credit, then it's going to be a self-standing title which has a, um, a solid background. So they have different looks, different feels, um, and I'm sure that you can find uses for both of those. Now I'm going to add some overlay credits at the end of my piece um, and have the credits scroll um, giving attribution to the mp3 and the photo that I used in this project. Um, I'm going to have them overlay the top of my um, still image here. This still image is set for five seconds. I think what I'm going to do is start out and um, I'm going to increase this to say um, around 30 seconds. I don't think it's going to take that long but I will um, give it a nice buffer so that if um, my credits go long I can I can figure out the the best length duration for this photo so I increase my duration of the still image I'm gonna click done now I see that in my timeline I have it select the image itself selected and I'm gonna click overlay credits here I can see the credits right over the top of my um, of the clip itself and now I can add some text right here I have a file already ready to go. Now I have URLs written in here. Um, I think the best thing to do is to probably break those URLs onto two different lines. Something like this. Now I'll copy this whole chunk and I will paste it right here in this text editor. can grab a hold of this blue kind of binding box and I can scroll up and down. I can choose my scroll speed which is uh, right now default and if I click done let's see now I have credits that last for this long my clip And the credits start, say, around 42, and they end probably closer to 56. So from 56 to 112, I can probably cut that part out. So let me change the duration um, down to 20 seconds, my photo duration, and let's see. Now I'm getting closer. I still have from 56 to 102, so that's about another six seconds of extra time at the end that I don't really need. So I'll click on my photo again and, and pull this down to, say, 15 seconds. And that's pretty good. Now, let's see. Can I, I'll double click on my title and I'll push it just a little bit down on my timeline right here so that the end credit syncs up with the end of my photo and I click done. Now I can't grab on this element and move it on my timeline um, unless I'm editing it so I have to double click and now I can move my credits up and down around my timeline. Um, once I have it set where I want it to go click done. I'll click save and I will preview the credits. Brown closes the chicken house door. Great. And I think on this last clip right here at the end, I will add a transition which now fades out. So let's take a look right at the end. It should start fading to black, and there it goes at the end. It fades to black for me. So now if I scroll across my storyboard, I'm beginning with a title, and that um, then on, on the top of black, that dissolves into my first shot, which fades into my second shot, which transitions into my third and fourth shot. 
Finally, I transition into my still image. And over the top of my still image in the timeline, that's where the credits occur. The scrolling overlay credits. And then finally, I've got this transition fade, which fades down to black. That's almost all of the elements that we need for the assignment. Um, the, um, the video footage, the external image, the transitions, and the, um, the, the titling. Um, whether you use credits or uh, a text title, however you use it. The one thing that's missing is an external audio file that we bring in, um, an MP3, basically to act as a, as a soundtrack um, to, so that you can see how to um, add external music to your video. So I'm going to click Save. And that's what we have here, this option to add a song. So I'm going to click Add Song. And there are some songs built in to Pixorial that you can reuse. Um, I'm not really interested in that. I'm going to upload my own. And I'm going to use this Big Bill Brunzi MP3, which is open source from the archive that we've used in a number of projects already. So I'll click Open, and it will begin to upload. It takes a little time. Once your music track is finished uploading, then it is added right here to the music track. Um, by default, it fills your um, the the full MP3 duration. Since my video is only 57 seconds long, this one MP3 um, covers the full video. So if I grab my playhead and click play, I can hear it. Now, I don't want my music to um, play for, for the entire video. So what I'd like to do is clip this down. Now, there's not an easy way. I can't just double click on it and pop open an edit menu. What I do have the option to do is to uh, change the start offset. And that will basically, you know, if I change this to one, uh, one minute, then it'll start at the one minute portion of my song and then I can click the duration. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start it at the beginning because I know that it has a nice fade in at the beginning. Um, and that's the other thing about the, the music tracks is it doesn't have the capability to do a, a fade in and fade out. What we have here is um, we can slide the volume more towards the video that's going to turn the volume of the music down uh, or we can slide the music up um, and that's going to make the, the um, the audio on the video clips themselves quieter and uh, the music will be louder. So you can change your volume between the music and the video. Um, right now let's put it more towards the video. It's a little loud. Um, I'm going to start my offset at zero which means it'll start at the beginning of the song and then I'm going to um, make the duration the same, basically the same length as this beginning title and this dissolve here. So I'm looking at about four seconds. So I'll say four and when I click off that now I have a four second clip um, sort of right at the beginning of my video and note that once I get a smaller chunk on my timeline I can grab it I can move it around I can't add multiple uh, pieces of music to the music track you just kinda have to use the offset the duration to start hacking away to create the effect that you want so I have this music track right at the beginning let's take a listen and see how that sounds Click play. Very early in the morning, the rooster sends out his call and the chickens begin to wake. Here comes Farmer Brown bringing grain for the chickens. Now, once again, um, I, I'm a little unhappy that they don't let me fade in and fade out the music, um, but that is what it is. So now I'm going to add another music track. I, mean, I clicked this plus. This time I can go to my uploaded music. I don't have to re-upload my mp3. I will click on that and I will click select and note now I have two versions of that same track. This time I'm going to put my offset let's say somewhere around three minutes 
20 seconds I'll leave the duration and I'll just click off of it and now I have um, one second let me make this duration a little longer maybe like five seconds I guess I need to the end of my song is at 314 so let me say the offset will start at 305 and I'll make my duration somewhere about five seconds there we go now I get five seconds and what I've done is I've gone to the end of my song and sort of grabs the end hoping that I can get that nice fade out I'm gonna drag this to the end of my track right about here now my titles are actually longer than this five second duration I think I'm what I want is something more like um, 15 seconds so I will click on my audio and here I go I will let's say two minutes and 50 seconds is where the offset will start and the duration will be 15 seconds now when I click there we go um, I, I clicked in 15 but that was longer than I had left on the timeline and so it automatically changed it for me to 13.5 and that's basically the same length as the end titles so I'll put my playhead let's take a listen and a look and the chickens have already gone to roost Farmer Brown closes the yeah, chicken house. You know it's cold I'm half fed down here. I'm half fed down here. I'm half fed down here. And now I have my uh, um, music over the top of my credits, this part of our timeline. I have music overlaid in this part of the timeline, my intro credits or excuse me, my intro title. So now I've added music, and remember you can slide these around. You can play with the, um, the volume control a bit. You can click on a piece of audio, um, replace it, click delete. You know, you have a number of options. But once again, not the cleanest way to uh, chop your audio up and then overlay it on the track, but it gets there. Um, we do have the capability to add external music over our video. Once you're happy with all of the pieces, and I think I am at this point for this demonstration, we have our title with some intro music, a dissolve, and then we go into our first clip, our second clip, our third clip. Um, we have transition between all of our clips. We overlaid um, uh, text over one of our images just to demonstrate how that was done. And then uh, we added a still image. We overlaid uh, rolling credits over that, and music plays right here at the end. So remember, we have our um, this is our overlay credits demonstrated right here, and then we fade out to black at the end. I'm going to click save, and I think that that is it for all of the requirements for the assignment. But we're not done yet. Uh, once you're ready and you've clicked save, um, the next step is to click add to library and basically what that does is it tells Pixorial that you're happy with the way that this project is and it's going to render it down into a single file for you and then add that to your Pixorial library so this process might take a little while um, go ahead and click add to library and here we go it says processing and your movie will be ready shortly so once again depending on how long your video is um, it will and, and how much stuff you've added to it um, that'll determine how long it takes to process. Once your video is finished processing, it will show up under the title that you gave your project right here in your library. So if you click on that video, as we spoke about before, you now have the option to download that file to your computer. So go ahead and click download. And you get this bit right here your video is being processed you will receive an email with a link to that download shortly and basically what happens is uh, the email that you used to sign up for Pixorial an email will be sent to that email address there'll be a link in that email and when you click on it 
um, your file will start downloading to your computer depending on the size of your file um, you know that'll and your connection speed it may take a while it may be a pretty quick download um, and then wh however you have your browser set up um, it will probably download to your default downloads directory so take a look for it there so thanks for watching the tutorial and we'll see you in the next one